Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dude with a Fork. My name is Ken. On today's episode of Ken Try Stuff, I'm trying the Jim Beam coffee, the Jim Beam bourbon and vanilla coffee that I bought at the dollar store. I was rather surprised by the results. I think you will be too. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are. Uh, today, we are going to try this Jim Beam uh, bourbon vanilla coffee, which I'm really excited to try. So, um, I'm going to cut the top off here, and um, we can see what's in there. But you can't see what's in here because of the way the light is, but um, it smells good. But I'm going to put some on a plate uh, because I've noticed something. I've noticed something with less expensive coffees. Um, this includes the ones that we looked at yesterday. Uh, the... Um, well, I looked at yesterday. I don't know when this video will come out. But uh, the uh, Harry and David one and also the Aldi one, this is a very coarse grind. Um, and the bits are very angular. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure if they're grinding it using a different method or not. But um, I'm going to run over to the, to the uh, kitchen and make a cup of this and get a teaspoon of sugar in it and be right back. All right. So this is it. And... Um, I, I don't have a proper set of coffee cups and saucers because uh, I don't think many people do anymore. I don't think coffee drinking is, a, is a, as formal uh, an event as it used to be. But anyway, so I did notice as I was scooping coffee into the filter, I did get a whiff of vanilla. So I am very hopeful here, but um, let's have a taste. Um, first impression... That's really, really good coffee. Um, uh, if I got served this in a restaurant, I would be very happy with it. I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any bourbon flavor from it. Um, and I would know because I really, I really do not like bourbon. Um, there's maybe just a hint of woodiness there, but I mean. The coffee itself is roasted, and bourbon gets its flavor from, you know, fire-roasted barrels. So, uh, flame-roasted barrels, I think. They flame the inside of those barrels, right? But anyway. Um, mm. I'm getting just a hint of vanilla. A little tiny hint of vanilla. This is really good coffee. Um I like it. Even if it weren't sold as bourbon vanilla, I would really enjoy it. Um, I'm, I'm just not getting a strong bourbon flavor. Maybe just a hint of it. So, um, you know, and maybe the problem is I'm used to flavored coffee. So if I put cinnamon in here or like hazelnut, you know, you can definitely taste those. But um, yeah, I'm not. Let me try again. I'm getting more vanilla as I get further down the cup. So I think this is a case where uh, the flavor is probably going all the way to the bottom. So when I get to the bottom, um, it's probably just going to be amazing. So um, maybe we'll pause and come back when I get to the bottom. Well, as you can see, I am right at the bottom of the cup. And the one thing I have definitely, definitely noticed is that I am getting a more pronounced um bourbon flavor and a more pronounced uh, vanilla flavor uh, as I get down to the bottom of the cup. So mm, this is actually really good coffee, which uh, kind of surprises me for the price, because even though it's dollar store coffee, you know, this is a this is a four ounce package. They could have easily have made this a two ounce package and then it would not be nearly as good a value. Um, so this is really good coffee. Um, would I buy this again? No, I, I'm not a big fan of bourbon. Um, and I love vanilla, but there are other ways to get vanilla into my coffee. I do have some French vanilla from Target that I need to try. Um, but yeah, if I loved bourbon, I would, I would not hesitate to drink this. I think this works better if, I think part of the problem is I have a one cup coffee maker. And so I make that cup and then I drink it right away. And I don't think the flavor has time to develop. I think if you were putting this into like a four cup or an eight cup coffee maker and you had that pot of coffee sitting there, um, I think each cup that you drink is probably going to taste stronger. And I think that's probably true 
of this one, although by the time I got to the bottom of this one, there still wasn't a whole lot of flavor. Nothing like what I'm tasting here. So, um, uh, so yeah, I, I do recommend this. If you like bourbon, you will get that bourbon flavor. Um, but um, yeah, it's not, not my cup of tea, not my cup of coffee. But yeah, this one's not bad. This one was okay. And that's it, folks. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, links to uh, free printable copies of any recipes here are down below in the show notes. Please like, comment, or if you'd like to see more of this kind of material, subscribe. As always, um, please stay safe, eat great food, and power to the proletariat. We'll see you next time.